put some cartoons in it. Yeah, Well, ahoy me mini mateys. Sorry I'm late, but my crew was held up by a crazy cluster cumulus of clouds. <laughs> Y'all ready for some cartoons? Our cartoon today comes from Stephen Carlton from South Kakilaki. And today, we're gonna give you a little history on television, so make sure you pay attention. So come on, me mini mateys, let's call in the cartoons. Cartoons for you, cartoons for me, cartoons, cartoons, whatever we see. TV has been a part of our lives for over 75 years. It's probably safe to say it's as important to us as telephones, electric lights, cars, and even indoor plumbing. Where did TV come from? Well, the history of TV actually begins way back in 1835. That's when a man named Samuel Morse, that's me, invented the telegraph, a device that used pulses of electricity to send messages over copper wires in the form of coded dots and dashes. Morse code! I invented that too! Before that though, back in 1866, Heinrich Hertz, I invented a radio. Oh, you did. That was me, Guglielmo Marconi. Well, I invented radio waves then. No, you didn't. You only discovered them. Whatever. I invented the radio telegraph in 1835. Well, it sent Morse code messages, of course. Yes, but without wires. And then in 1906, hey, is it uh, my turn, eh? Reginald Aubrey Fessenden became the first person to broadcast a human voice. Pretty clever of me, eh? Radio quickly became very popular. Did you hear what he said? Shut up, I'm listening! And then in 1926, a Scottish scientist named... I can introduce myself, thank you very much. <clears throat> my name is John Logie Baird, and I invented mechanical television. Mechanical television worked a bit differently from what we have today. Inside the TV set, there was a large spinning disc. The television signal would control a light source, making it blink brighter or more dimly, and the light would shine through holes in the disc onto a screen. The images were tiny and flickered badly. Aye, but it was still television! The first TV broadcast happened in 1927, and the age of television was born. Television is great! Yes, but it's so expensive. In 1935, two scientists, Vladimir Zworkin, Hello! And Philo Farnsworth, I'm smarter. Nyet is me! Created electronic television. Instead of moving parts inside the TV set, there was something called an electron gun that sent beams of electrons through a tube onto the back of the TV screen, which was coated in phosphor. The beam made the phosphor glow, and it painted an image on the screen at the rate of 30 frames per second. It's the way TV works to this very day. Well, almost is true. Plasma and LCD is different. Other than refinements like color, higher resolution, and larger screens, TV remained pretty much the same for the next 60 years. Stupid digital television. On June 12, 2009, television broadcasts switched from analog to digital to make way for high-definition television. So what's next? It could be something like on-demand TV or even TV streamed over the internet. Oh, that's nice. 
But one thing is certain, no matter how much TV changes, it will never go away.